Geometric Progression It is a progression of numbers with a constant ratio between each term and the one preceding it. For example, 1, 2, 4, 8. You see, there is a common ratio of positive 2 going forward. Next, 5, negative 20, 80. The common factor is negative 4. Here, the common factor is negative 1 third. These are all geometric progressions. Some very useful relationships. Nth term of a geometric progression is a times r to the power of n minus 1, where a is the first term in the progression, r is the common ratio. The sum of first n terms is a times r to the power of n minus 1 divided by r minus 1, where a is the first term in the progression, r is the common ratio. Sum of all terms in an infinite geometric progression is a divided by 1 minus r. Please note, this relationship applies only when the infinite series has a common ratio, which is less than 1. Otherwise, the series will go on to be either a positive infinite sum or a negative infinite sum. For example, 8, 4, 2, 1, 1 half. You see, the numbers are diminishing. So this is going to have a finite sum. If the numbers were increasing, for example, 8, 16, 32, 64, then this would be a series with infinite sum. So an infinite series can have a finite sum only when the values are diminishing, when baud r is less than 1. When the values are increasing, the sum is always infinite. Or if the values are negative, say negative 8, negative 16, negative 32, in this case, the sum would be negative infinite. So this applies only when mod r is less than 1. In the relationship, of course, a is the first term and r is the common ratio. Let's look at some examples. Tenth term, t10 equals a times r to the power of n minus 1. a is 5 here. r is 2, the common ratio. So this is 5 times 2 to the power of 9 equals 5 times 512. The value is 2560. Next, the sum of first five terms of this series. We know Sn equals a times r to the power of n minus 1 divided by r minus 1. a is 3, r is 2, n is 5. So this turns out to be 3 times 2 to the power of 5 minus 1 divided by 2 minus 1, which is 3 times 31 divided by 1. This turns out to be 93. This is an infinite series. Sum of all terms is going to be a divided by 1 minus r. a is 100. r is 1 fifth. Practically, this is 100 times 5 fourths. The answer is 125. This was the concept, friends. GMAT shots are deliberately kept brief. For an elaborate explanation, please watch the Stage 1 conceptual videos in our program. Thanks for watching.